Hello everyone and welcome to another video in Begins Explainer series. I'm Harini, a product marketer and today we'll be talking about how you can efficiently manage your tasks using Begin. With Begin, you will be able to schedule, reschedule, track and get timely reminders for all the tasks that you have to undertake. How about we take the example of Zilka Travel Agency and understand how they can streamline their day-to-day -day activities with Begin's task management. You can create tasks in Begin using multiple methods. Let's explore them one by one. To kick things off, we'll be heading to the Activities module, which is a module dedicated to managing your tasks, events, and calls. If you wish to schedule a task for a particular date, you can do so by heading to the date and then clicking on the plus button. Now you'll have to select the create a task option and then enter a name for the task. In this case, it is going to be flight booking. Now you'll have to specify the due date. And if you wish to create a recurring task, you can do so by checking the repeat checkbox. Let's say you want to create a task which repeats every week for the next three months. You can do so by selecting the every week option and specifying the time interval up to which you want the repeated tasks to be created. Once you've done that, Begin will automatically schedule the tasks for the upcoming weeks as well. If you do not want to create a recurring task, you can simply uncheck this box. You can also ensure that timely reminders go to the task owners by enabling the reminder option and specifying the due date and time at which the reminder needs to go out. You can also associate a particular task with an existing pipeline record, contact or company. In this case, I'm going to associate this particular task with a deal in the booking pipeline. Once you've specified the record with which this task is going to get associated, you need to add a description for your own reference. If you are dealing with a task which can be considered as high priority, you can mark it as such. Or if you're logging in a task that you've already completed, you can mark it as completed. If you want to associate more information with the task, you can do so by creating your own custom fields. Click on the customize fields option and select the custom field button. In this scenario, Zilker wants to store information related to the flight destination. So we'll be naming the field as destination and the field type is going to be text and the subtype can be single line. If you wish to mandate a particular field, you can do so by checking the mandatory field option. So what will happen now is that no one will be able to create a task without filling in the information which is required by this field. If you do not want to mandate the field, you can simply uncheck this box. Click on save to create the field and then click on save again. Once you've entered all the information relevant to a particular task, you can also decide who is going to own the particular task. By default, the person creating the task is going to be designated as the owner. But if you have the appropriate permissions, you will be able to create a new task and assign it to a different member on your team. Once you've specified all the relevant data required to create the task, you can simply click on Save button and the new task will be scheduled for the required date. When you hover over a particular task, you'll find options to edit it, mark it as complete or delete it. When you click on a particular task, you'll be able to view all the information related to it and you'll also be able to add additional information such as any tags or even notes which are relevant to the particular task. 
you can even mark the task as completed and change the ownership of it as well. You can also create a task by heading to the tasks tab in the activities module. You can create a task by clicking on the add task button and filling in the create task form. Or if you're already tracking your tasks using a spreadsheet, you can import them into begin very easily. When you hover over a particular scheduled task, you'll be able to find a quick preview option, which will give you all the information you need related to that task at a glance. And when you click on a particular task, you will be redirected to the detailed view where you'll be able to edit information related to the task and even view details related to the record with which a particular task is associated with. So for instance, this particular task is associated with a deal named New Jersey Retreat and you'll be able to view all the details related to that deal so that you can process the task more quickly. You can view all the tasks that are scheduled in this pane. And an interesting part about the tasks tab in the activities module is that it has an array of default views which you can toggle between based on your requirements. Let's say that you want to view the tasks which are overdue today then you can click on the overdue task option and all the tasks that need to be completed by today will be visible to you. Now that you've understood how to create and manage tasks using the activities module, let's take a look at how you can easily create tasks associated with a particular deal, contact or company. Let's head to the pipelines module and select a particular deal with which we want to associate a task with. Let's say that Zilka wants to create a task for the New York Christmas trip, which asks the particular travel agent to book hotels. Then they can head to the activities tab and click on the add task button. Now they just have to fill in the create task form, fill in all the details and then click on save. As you can see, the task is now created and associated with this particular deal. And this task will also be visible in the activities module as well. With that, we've covered all the manual methods that you can leverage to create a task. What if I told you that the entire task creation process can be automated? In order to do so, you'll have to head to settings and then click on automation. Now we'll be creating a workflow which will automatically create tasks and assign it to particular team members. Click on the new workflow button and specify the module with which this particular workflow needs to be associated with. In this scenario, we are going to create a workflow which will automatically schedule tasks whenever a new booking request comes in. Therefore, we'll be associating this workflow with the bookings pipeline. Now we can add a name for the workflow and then a description for your own reference. Click on next and now you'll have to specify the trigger which will activate the workflow. In this case, we want a task to be created every time a new booking request comes in. So the trigger is that a new booking request is created. Once you specify the trigger, you can also specify which bookings this particular workflow will apply to. You can either choose all bookings and the workflow will get activated for all the booking inquiries or if you only want the workflow to get activated for bookings which match certain conditions you can specify those conditions here as well once you've specified the conditions you can click on next and the action that needs to be performed is that a activity needs to be created more specifically, a task needs to be created. So click on the create task option. 
Now you'll have to add a name for the tasks which are going to be created. So I'm just going to change this to flight booking for and this here is a merge field. Basically, this will pull the data which is present in the name of your deal and name the task according to it. Now you can specify who the owner of the task is going to be. You can either ensure that the task is assigned to the person who owns the deal or you can even assign it to one particular member on your team. Now you'll have to specify the due date and you can check the notify owner checkbox to ensure that a email goes to the owner whenever a new task is created. You can set up reminders for the task and even mark it as high priority. If you want, you can even include a description for the task. Once you've specified all the information, once you've specified all the required details, you can click on save. And now you've decided on what action needs to be completed as soon as the workflow is triggered. Click on save and the workflow is now active. Now, every single time a new booking is added to the booking pipeline, a task will automatically be created and be visible in that particular pipeline record, in the tasks view, and in the calendar view as well. Whenever the due date for a particular task is approaching, the task owner will be sent a reminder. The reminder will be visible in the notification section under the reminders tab. And when they click on a particular task, they'll be able to view all the details related to it. And if you're someone who has already installed our mobile applications, then you will be able to get a notification on your mobile phone as well. An added advantage of leveraging Begin's task management system is that you will get insights into metrics such as the number of tasks which were scheduled and completed in a week, the number of tasks that are overdue this month, the number of tasks undertaken by a particular team member, and so on. In order to access this data, you'll have to head to the dashboards module and select the tasks dashboard. All these attractive charts and KPIs were auto generated by harnessing the data present in Begin. If you want, you can even create a custom KPI chart or target meter to measure metrics or statistics that are unique with that we'll be wrapping up this video i hope that you've picked on some interesting tips for managing your tasks using begin if you have any doubts feel free to post them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you thank you for watching this video 